All right, I was in. A cold, bluish-green light revealed parts of rusty machinery here and there. Everything else was drowned in inky black. Probably as black as the butcher's deeds, but that remained to be seen. I was in. Just one regret. I'll never know who Randolph really was. Some kind of container, apparently. Who knows? Might be something useful inside. Don't forget to put that power tool back up once you're done with it, D. It's a hatch in this, uh, this thing, but it's dark as night inside. Mmm. This means there's got to be some way to get inside it, whatever it is. Can't reach it. Ugh, the lid's all stuck with some disgusting crud. You gas up that huge engine through this. It's screaming out for fuel. No resonance. Huge, huge, huge engine. From what I can make out, it seems to power the suspension mechanism above. It's the lever what puts the huge engine in motion. I really want to pull it. Mm, nothing happened. I think it needs fuel. No need to mess with it. Let's pop this baby open. Alright, got myself a power tool. No need to mess with that. Nah, can't reach it. Nah, can't reach it. I can unscrew and put holes in things. It's a keeper. Nah, works fine. No need to crowbar it. Can't reach it. Probably wouldn't help even if I could. No need to perforate it. Can't use it by itself. No need to mess with it. No need to mess with it. Nothing happened. I think it needs fuel. No need to mess. No need to. No resonance.
No need. All right, a co probably. There's a lot. Let's pop this. All right. Freeze, you ugly cultist. Isn't that assuming a bit too much, given how dark it is in here? Don't push your luck when there's an angry little kid pointing a hand cannon at you, batty! See, now that is concerning. I don't know that I want to live in a society where an innocent child can easily get her hands on a... Would you like for mice to really appreciate you? Uh, uh, what? Um... Unless you really do, don't make me turn you into Swiss cheese! But, uh, but I'm not a cultist. Hmm, well, okay, let me see here. Cultist robes? Check. Lurking around in an abandoned factory? Check. I'm a private investigator, in deep cover. That's not the only thing you're deep in, creep. What are you up to here? Don't lie. I can tell. Uh, I'm, I'm a flooring inspector. Don't you know how hazardous even just standing here is? So, this is standard inspector attire? Uh, no, but they, they won't let me in without it. Put it back on the shelf and step away from the shopping cart, because I'm not buying that. I was just looking for you. Someone said a kid got lost in this abandoned factory, so... So here I am, your savior. Look, I'm not firing any warning shots, because the noise will alert your buddies. So rely on me making all my bullets count. Read that loud and clear. I'm investigating. I'm looking for a... Uh, well, at this point, I might call him a criminal mastermind, really. The Butcher. And how do I know you're not one of his henchmen, trying to lie your way out? Oof. Can't think of anything, really. There's just been so much going on lately, it's hard to wrap my head around everything let alone explain myself to a kid with a huge gun pointing at my noggin. I've got time. Uh, to make an uh, extremely long and convoluted story short, I'm helping a friend unhumanize his cat, I think. Turns out, uh, when they can talk, they're real grouches. So, I'm trying to find out. Wait, what's this friend's name? Buzz. Oh, we'll talk about a coincidence. Is he a librarian? Only librarian I know what's got a talking cat, yeah. Wait, you're not shooting me now, are you? Whatever way they wronged you, I had nothing to do with it. Kid, it can be a real... They actually got Mr. Gillsby back for me. I hate to say it, but they're kind of all right in my book. I, I, I mean, I hate them less than you cultists. Wait, you know Buzz and Kitty? Yeah, we swapped dolls a while ago, back in Darkham. Well, that sounds perfectly normal. Unlike what you are doing to the fishies, you, you bad, bad people! Kitty eats fish. You hate her too? Well, she can't help it, you dumb dumb, can she? She's a carnivore. That's natural. What you are doing is not. True enough, she's just a cat. And you're just a kid. I don't pretend to understand anything about you peep, you kids. 
but I do know that at your age, you should be playing with dolls, not handling firearms. Come on, just hand it over. <laughs> hey, social commentary! <laughs> but you are not getting this gun, so step off, Grandpa! Oh, not you too. I'm, I'm really not that old. You are old, and you stink like dead rotten fishies! Fishies you probably murdered with your stinky murdering hands! Actually, they were already dead, and they rained down on me like ironic, putrid offerings of the heavens. I can't tell if I'm more bored or annoyed with you at this point. I don't even like fish. I, I mean, I don't like eating them. I've got nothing against them. So then why are you killing so many of them? Again, not a cultist, but it might have something to do with whatever the butcher was working on in this very building. Yeah, well, we'll shed some light on that situation soon enough. I'm really not a cultist. My name's Don. Don Archetype. Hmm, Don doesn't sound like what a cultist name would be. I figured they'd all have names like... Mortimer? Yeah, and he's really uptight too. Do you believe I'm not a cultist now? Not entirely. You'd better actually prove it. Alright, uh, I'm game I guess. What are you thinking? If you're really here for the reasons you say you are, we're both looking for the same thing. The Butcher's Laboratory. Chop Chop! I'll be supervising from up here. Sounds like a plan, uh, Miss... Basilla. Are you sure? I'm sure! Get to it! Nice big lever over here seems to control the suspension mechanism above. It ain't working. Didn't really expect to see mattresses and pillows lying around in here, but there they are. Maybe they had an overpopulation problem? Place seems empty now. Sleep more, work more, raise more, sleep more, work more, I raise more. I don't want to touch any of them. That's one impressive, gigantic door. I don't see myself forcing this one open. Lock it! Lock it! Leave the shit up! Locked from the inside. Strange. There's a discontinuity in the pattern here. There's something here I need to take a closer look at. Cover it well! Cover it well! I know Kung Fu. Aha! It's a heavy sliding door. A bunch of annoying rivets keeping the door shut in place. I really hate you, Rivets. I really do. That requires some kind of specialized tool. Can't do it with my bare hands. Actually, probably could if my hands were bare hands. Thank God for technology. I stepped inside and felt my teeth instantly chatter. This was some kind of cryo room and I didn't bring thicker underwear. Ugh. All kinds of junk. The industrial flavor. It looks like it was thrown into that corner in something of a rush. What happened here? Hurry, hurry, hurry! 
Sorry. It's just junk. I don't need any of it. There's a blue liquid inside this tube. Liquid nitrogen, perhaps? Probably keeping this machine's contents refrigerated. No resonance. Nah. It's that kid, Priscilla. She's a tough cookie, I'll tell you that. Not doing that. Nothing to report yet. Hey, it's a gas canister. Seems to at least not be empty. Maybe I could use it. Just throw it in there! Let's go, let's go! Come to Papa, sweet gasoline. Drink up, big buddy. There you go. I'd gotten the engine to run. At least now, any loud noises would be covered by the engine's humming. I'm gonna call it Alice. Cause it's in chains. I'm not a complete square, you know. But seriously, looks like it could somehow be of use. Portable Instaphrase. Neat. I think I'd feel safer carrying this. I just do. I could just walk around with frost in my pocket. Nice. Take it, brother. Only this can keep the things at bay. Some kind of strange display with cycling buttons on both sides. It says Hudsaras above, whatever that might mean. There's a soft hum emanating from it, so I assume it's functioning. I'm telling you, what got away? Huh, one's missing. A jolly good day to you, sir, and young miss, if day it indeed be. You will forgive my disorientation, I trust. I've been holed up in here for quite a while. I suppose thanks are in order for opening that blasted door. Truly appreciate it. What the... 
Oh, do forgive my rudeness. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm quite sure that my name is Otis, but I'm afraid much of my biography is as much a question mark to myself as it is to you. I'm not wrong in surmising that this is the first time you're engaging in conversation with a human-octopus hybrid, correct? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm kind of at a loss for words here. Don't worry, Mr. Octopus Person. I like you. You're kind of a fishy, so you're okay. Haha, <laughs> well, yes, young miss. I assume I am. Aren't I? Please, call me Otis. Nice to meet you, Otis. I'm Basilla. And this guy over here is Don. He's a private detective. Yes, she believes me. But anyway. So, Otis, how'd you become an octopus hybrid? I mean, of course, if that's not too painful to discuss. Oh, not at all! Details, I'm afraid, are pretty sparse, and amnesia seems to be a side effect of the process. I do remember my name was Otis, and I, well, I died. I'm afraid I can't remember the circumstances. I did wake up at the hands of these persons that were operating on me. Strange sensation, to be sure. But I was alive again. Quite a blessing, sir, I assure you. You have a uh, quite the positive outlook on life for a, a talking head. How could I not? I was dead, and now I live! Is there a greater joy imaginable? I think not! That's a refreshingly positive attitude. Thank you! I was always an optimist, and as you can see, good things have happened to me! Indeed. Did you see the butcher? Yeah, did you? I'm afraid I don't know what butcher you speak of. Well, everything's a bit foggy, you understand. All I can remember are masked men rushing about with all kinds of strange instruments. Their speech was muffled, so it was pretty hard to make anything out, I'm afraid. Dang it. I do remember them referring to me as a dry, if that helps at all. Uh, dry. Any idea what that means? One can only assume it has some negative implications, but that's pure speculation on my part. Do you know where the laboratory is? Yes, I do. You you don't want to go in there, do you? Indeed, we're chatting away when we should be getting out of here at this very instant. No one's going anywhere until we reach the lab. Oh dear, I must be frank with you, young miss. I intend to leave the premises as soon as possible and suggest you do the same. Come on, Otis, work with us. You ain't gotta go back in there, just help us get in. Oh, heavens, well... All right. I suppose I owe you a debt of gratitude. The laboratory is right outside this chamber, and to the right. That's real cool. Staying frosty. They're just chilling. They're giving me the cold shoulder, as much as cubes have shoulders. I guess they probably have four shoulders if you think about it. Snow way, I'm touching that. This was water before it was cool. I should cool it with these puns. Not exactly. Hey kid, I think I thought of a way to get us past those huge doors, but I need you to trust me, okay? What do you mean? I'm gonna need that gun of yours. Fine, I trust you. Do not let me down! That's a promise, Priscilla. He's freaked out enough already. Now get back to you, Otis. As you wish, dear sir.
It's, uh, well, it's Otis. Otis sure is a unique fella. I'm not sure I want to do that. Otis, the door's locked. Any idea how to get in? I'm afraid I do not. Otis, the door's locked. I'm afraid... Locked. Lock it! Lock it! Leave the shaft! It's a container full of liquid nitrogen, sprayable, for all your Insta-Freeze needs. Not helping. That would be inconsiderate. Looks extremely bulletproof to me. It's been a while, but here goes. I got rid of the glass above the door to the lab. Seeing as you're the only one with suction cups, think you could do us a solid and get inside the lab through there? Oh dear! I suppose I can. To be perfectly honest, I'm shaking in my non-existent boots just at the thought of going back in there. Come on, you can do it, Otis. Yeah, you go, Otis. I appreciate your support, dear friends. <sighs> Alright, here I go! Oh dear! Oh lord! Oh, it's, it's all coming back now! The pits! The horrible pits! The non-dries, their horrible gnashing and gnawing and... Oh, this is too much to bear! Oh, God, what is that? Oh, oh, what do you know? It's a coin! <laughs> oh, and of, of course, n no pockets to put it in. Great! Oh, God, the abominations! Focus, Otis, focus! Uh, 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 all right, it's open. Wow. Thanks, Otis. You are incredibly brave. Yeah. Yes, c uh, c could I please go now? There are horrible things in there, and I don't wish to spend another second in their vicinity. Where are you headed to, Otis? I, uh... Oh, it appears I really have no place to go, do I? <sighs> yeah, I thought that might be the case. Look, here's my office back in Darkham. The key's under the doormat. Make yourself at home until you, uh, think things through, all right? How exactly is he going to make it there without attracting attention? You're right. Hey, I have an idea. Priscilla, you should mail him to my address. You know, like a, like a pet or something. Let me want to see the laboratory and save the fishies. You said it yourself. Otis is sort of a fishy, and he needs your help. Once you mail him, you can come back and we'll explore together. What do you say? I mean, I guess you're right, but... Don't explore too much without me, you hear? You can count on me, partner. Don't get ahead of yourself. See ya! Many thanks again! All the best! Oh, it's jolly good to get a second chance, isn't it? So many opportunities! Mike? Hmm, let's see here. Why? Why, I could be on telly, my dear. The one true talking head out there. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> see, little one? Always keep a positive outlook. Ew, ow! Just a second. Stepped in some oily thing here. Ew. Well, I guess it's slithered, actually, isn't it? <laughs> You're funny, Otis. Well, that was surreal. <sighs> Alright, let's see what secrets this place holds. <laughs> 